Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. And I think for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to call him Paz Vizsla because that's his name. Got this on Amazon, ordered it yesterday. Good price, free shipping, one day delivery. Couldn't pass it up. And as you can see, it comes in the red and black box. Nice big window. You can see the figure, jetpack, and his extremely large heavy blaster. And you got a nice picture of him down there. On that side of the box, you got the large font, regular font, and the front window wraps around a little bit. On that side, it's just red, and it is number D2, or Deluxe 2. The top of the box is just black. On the bottom, you got the barcode and a whole bunch of stuff no one reads. And on the back of the box, you got the same picture as the front. You get a bio in various languages and some more stuff no one reads. I'm going to get Paz Vizsla open. Let's take a look at him. All right, so I got Paz Vizsla open. Let's take a look at him from head to toe. And I'm already impressed with this thing. The, the detail is amazing on this guy. Let's just start at the top of his head. All these little dings look good. The visor looks really good. Got some little details in there. Paint looks nice. So this visor is fixed. It does not move. Got that thing on the other side looks really good. That's what the back looks like. You know, very similar to what we've seen before. But again, just some subtle scratches. Look great. Got a nice big ding back there. That's what his front looks like. This chest armor's very nicely done. Nice scratches. Not sure what this little niblet is here. It's kind of neat. I don't know. Got that thing. Looks great. Scratch, scratch. I think the belt looks really good. Nicely detailed. Nice colors. A little silver there. Some gold. Yeah, pouches look really good. Move on to his back. I'm so glad they made this peg square. That's what they need to do with every single one of them. Skirt looks pretty good. Skirt's hard plastic. It's got some nice folds, some nice wear down here. Looks really good. I love that. Yeah, it's a good looking figure. Hey, let's move on to his arms. So, got a little, some scratches here. Gauntlet looks nice. Got a little bit of red, some scratches. Got a nice armor plate there. And this arm's a little more detailed. Got the mythosaur symbol there, some scratches. That's showing through. Nice wrinkles on the sleeves on the undersuit. That looks really, really good. Totally digging the mismatched armor there. That looks really nice. Some nice wear, scratches, some dirtiness, some great paint here. That is super clean. Really like that a lot. Scratch. And there's his, his flamethrower there. Looks good. And moving on to legs. Some scratches here and there. Some dirtiness. And again, the mismatched armor looks really, really cool. Knee pads look good. This little strap has some nice subtle detail in there, but it's cool. And I love the tread on the boots. Yeah, what a great looking figure from top to bottom. And like I've said before on some of my other reviews, <laughs> this is an instant favorite. What a great looking figure. And he's a pretty chunky figure. Plop him down, he's gonna stand up. Absolutely love that. You don't have to like try to balance him or anything. He stands up every time. And here's how he scales with Din Djarin and the armorer. Yeah, he's a big boy. All right, so let's take a look at articulation on Pez. So, just like all of them, the head can turn side to side. He can look down that much, and he can look up that much. You've got a little bit of forward and back at the neck, and you've got some pretty good tilt. So these shoulder pads are soft, and they're glued down here, so that allows it to just ride up and over the chest armor, so the arms can get all the way up to there. And they can rotate all the way around. You've got single jointed elbows that get just a little past 90. So you've got a swivel just above the elbow and both gauntlets will rotate independently of the arm. So there's the right one and there's the left one. You've got a swivel at the wrist. The right hand is hinged up and down and the left hand is hinged side to side. And you've got some pretty good movement here. I'm assuming that's an actual butterfly joint. It's kind of hard to see, but there is some movement there. You've got a swivel at, I guess, mid torso. And it's super tight. Can't really crunch forward too much, but he goes back that much. And you have a hint of side to side. The legs get up to there. He's got an upper thigh swivel that is practically hidden by this thigh plate. It's kind of cool. He's got double jointed knees that get that far. The feet go down that far. They don't go up a whole lot. And you've got some swivel at the ankle. So despite being a chunky figure, he's actually got pretty good articulation. 
So now let's take a look at his accessory, which is sort of a combination jetpack and his blaster, or heavy blaster. It's kind of cool. Here, let me separate it. So this does come apart right there. We'll just take a look at the jetpack first. You know, this is nicely detailed. I love this all in here. The nice kind of dirtiness, kind of a wash over the whole thing. Really, really looks good. This little hose plugs into his left gauntlet, and as you can see, it is a sort of a half circle. It's keyed, so it'll only go in one way. And this hose also will unplug from there. And a wonderful, square, well, rectangular peg, which is so nice because it can't rotate with that. Yeah, but they even did a wash on the inside, too, make it look dirty. Looks really good. And there are some holes here that you could probably plug Boba Fett's uh, flame effects into. Have to try that in a second. And obviously there's the hole for the um, for his rifle. And speaking of which, that's what that looks like. It's also sort of a half circle, so it only goes in one way. And that plugs in there. And you'll feel it kind of seat. There we go. There's like an audible snap. And once it's in, it's in. Super tight. And this little hose thing, or ammo, you know, belt fed, <laughs> just... Really cool, but it's nice and flexible. Yeah, I really like that a lot. So let's get a closer look at this blaster rifle, this heavy blaster. It's pretty much all one color with the exception of the end of the barrel. Got some nice, uh, some little bluing there, which is kind of cool. Kind of goes to silver and then it goes back to this gray color. But it's got some really nice detail throughout. You got a couple of handles, got a handle on the back. You've got a handle on the side. And then I'm assuming this is the actual trigger. Now this trigger, will rotate, which is really nice. Get him in some nice poses with that. Yeah, that's a cool looking weapon. And also, if you just want to have him displayed with the uh, uh, the blaster plugged into the jetpack, there's a peg, there's a hole, and that just goes in right there. And it's pretty tight. Urgh. Yeah, once it's in, that's definitely in. It ain't falling out. But yeah, that's what that looks like. All right, so let's see what this looks like on him. So that just snaps in there, nice and snug. Yeah, give it a nice squeeze. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's great. And for this little hose, plugs into the gauntlet. Just line up the the shape of that peg to the uh, to the hose, and yeah, that goes in there. And being a little bit longer and you know pretty flexible, it it does not impede any kind of arm movement really. You know at all. You can still get all the way up there. You can still have his arm all the way out. It's got plenty of room. Yeah, so that's really nice. All right, so let's see how he holds this big old blaster. So the right hand can go in there and just kind of rotate up like that. And then you can park the left hand on the, you know, what I'm assuming is the actual trigger. And it's nice that this can rotate. And that looks pretty good. I'm just kind of firing low from the hip, just laying down some nice suppressive fire with this, which looks like a mini gun. Yeah, what a cool looking weapon. I'm going to have to play with him a little bit more to see what other poses you can get him in. But, um, I mean, that is the classic pre Vizsla pose, him just kind of standing there and just raining blaster fire. You know, yeah, that, that looks good. That works really well. Yeah, I like that a lot. And that's what it looks like from that side. Yeah, that, <laughs> what a cool figure. I, I love this guy already. And that's what he looks like, just posed, just standing there with the blaster hooked into his jetpack. And with the jetpack on, it really doesn't add too much back weight to him, so he stands up right away. So getting back to the flame effects, so I have Boba Fett's flame effects here for his jetpack. Let's see if they fit in here. Oh yeah, they fit. And here's the other one. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Super tight, but they do go in. Yeah, that looks all right. Yeah, so you can put this guy on a flight stand and have him taking flight with that. I like it. And just for funsies, let's just see if they go in his flamethrower. Let's see, that's also super tight, but <laughs> yeah, it works. It looks moderately silly, but it does work. And the fact that this gauntlet, you know, can be rotated, you can have it on top, you know, firing above his hand, or you can rotate it da down like that, have it firing from the side. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it, you know, because the actual flamethrower effect from Boba Fett does not fit. It's not a peg, so that, that won't work. You know, it's good to know, though, that you can use these if you wanted to. So in closing, 
just like I said earlier. Instant favorite. What an awesome figure. From top to bottom. I mean, just the detail is sick on this guy. I mean, the scratches look good. Little subtle sculpt right there. All these scratches, the colors look good. Armor looks awesome. I'd still love to know what this is. I mean, the, the dirtiness belt is killer. Love that belt. And this backpack or jetpack looks great. Love that dirtiness. It's cool that this kind of plugs into the side of it if you want to have him pose like that. This is cool how they made this nice and flexy. Skirt looks good, nice folds. Love this. The gauntlets look great, both of them. I mean, just nice little subtle details. Subtle paint here and there. Great paint there. Love that. I mean, that looks really, really good. And his bottom half looks good with the mismatched armor, you know, much like up here. Man, what an awesome figure. I love this guy. Yeah, but please comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys and share your thoughts on the heavy infantry. Oh, sorry, Paz Vizla. I said I wasn't going to say that. Paz Vizla. <laughs> yeah, share your thoughts below. Let me know what you think of him. I, for one, love this figure already. Yeah. And if you like videos on Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video and subscribing to the channel. And please turn on notifications because I'm always posting something on Black Series. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll just see y'all next time.